Wakanda Water District is a county water district. We provide water and sewer services to residents and businesses within our 24 square mile service area. This area includes the city of Yorba Linda and parts of Placentia, Brea, Anaheim, and unincorporated Orange County. We provide water service to our customers via a robust system, which consists of 352 miles of pipelines, 12 booster pump stations, 11 groundwater wells, and 14 reservoirs. Our reservoirs can store up to 57.5 million gallons of water, which is equivalent to 87 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We provide water service to residential and commercial customers through 25,000 water service connections. Our using our network of pumps and reservoirs, we can deliver water to 24 pressure zones from an elevation of 240 feet up to 1390 feet above sea level. We use two sources of water, import water from the Metropolitan Water District and groundwater from our well field. Up until the late 70s, our district service boundary was half of what it is today. The red line was the eastern boundary of our district. When development started to take off in the late 70s and early 80s, we expanded water service to include the area to the right of the red line. Up until November of 2018, we could provide import water from the Metropolitan Water District's Deemer Water Treatment Plant to the entire district, but could only provide groundwater to the area left of the red line. This was due to the fact that the Fairmont Booster Pump Station was constructed in 1973 and was designed to only transport import water. The old pump station had two pumps capable of pumping 2100 gallons per minute from the 780 foot elevation to 1000 feet above sea level. The pump station had served its purpose but was old and had to be replaced with a new upgraded Fairmont Booster Pump Station. The new Fairmont Booster Pump Station would have the capability to transport both import water and groundwater to the eastern part of the district. Groundwater is a less expensive water source than import water and this would help us keep water service rates as economical as possible for our customers. By being able to provide either groundwater or import water to our entire district, we would also have a redundant water source, which would reduce the likelihood of our customers experiencing water shortages or outages. We designed our pump station to allow us to pump to the highest elevations in our district, to provide increased pumping capacity and operational flexibility, to be more efficient and reliable, and to fit in aesthetically with the adjacent homes. We had a time-lapse camera installed at the construction site of the new pump station. The camera took photos automatically nearly every day. We had to dig down 30 feet using excavators and remove soil and build upward. Construction was carefully sequenced so that we could maintain and operate the old pump station in Fairmont Reservoir located on the same site. The construction budget for the pump station was $7.3 million and construction was completed in about two and a half years in February 2019.
The Fairmont Booster Pump Station was designed based on the Spanish Mission Revival style to blend in with the surrounding neighborhood. Our pump station is shown on the top and the home across the street is shown below it. We worked very closely with the developer of the Jason Homes on the conceptual design to match the exterior stucco finish, the paint colors, and roofing. Even our roll-up doors resemble garage doors. We have received positive responses from the surrounding residents for these improvements. The entrance and exit gates are activated with the card reader security system and open automatically when activated. The decorative block wall and wrought iron gates resemble those in the surrounding neighborhoods. Inside the pump station, there are eight electrically driven vertical turbine pumps. The pump station is capable of pumping up to 10,900 gallons per minute using three different pumping scenarios. In other words, we can now move a lot more water to multiple pressure zones and to the highest elevations in our system. With our supervisory control and data acquisition communication system, also known as SCADA, we are able to monitor and control all the pumps remotely from our main office headquarters and monitor chlorine residuals, pressures, reservoir water levels, flows, and pump station security. Since the pump station is located in an area surrounded by homes, we took measures to reduce the noise while the pump station is in operation. The electrically driven pumps operate more quietly than if the pumps had natural gas engines. The concrete masonry walls, insulated doors, and noise reducing panels on the inside of the pump station significantly reduce operational noise. Motorized hatches in the roof are located directly above each pump to allow us to remove the pumps for maintenance purposes. The backup diesel generator is ready to supply power to the pump station in the event we lose electrical power. The adjacent tank is a brine tank that is part of our on-site sodium hypochlorite generation system. We add sodium hypochlorite to the groundwater to provide additional disinfection to meet stringent state and federal water quality standards. This is our sodium hypochlorite solution tank. And this is our sodium hypochlorite pumping system. Once we finished our testing of the new pump station, we demolished our old pump station with a little help from our board of directors. And also with a little help from some large equipment. The Fairmont Booster Pump Station project was a success as a result of good teamwork with our design engineering firm, our contractor, and our own operations and engineering divisions. Our new Fairmont Booster Pump Station now provides us with a lot of flexibility to serve groundwater or import water from the lowest elevations in our system to the highest in an efficient, cost-effective, and reliable manner so that we are able to provide excellent water service to our customers.